chair. Fellow speakers, no guests. Air transports that are now. Oh my god, it's so noisy! The pilot's just sitting next to me. He's got this big, huge wheel. And the noise from the engine is horrendous. And oh my god, we're going down this dirt track. It's rough as heck. The wind's blowing in my face because it's an open cockpit airplane. You mean I've actually paid for this? I'm only going from St. Petersburg to Tampa, which is over there. I paid $5. It's going to take me half an hour to get there, but my God, I didn't know it was going to be this type of an experience. Does anyone have a clue as to a time frame to when this happened? The first commercial passenger flight? Happened in Florida. Open cockpit. Noisy. The pilot is sitting next to the passenger. Big wheel. Rickety old airplane. February. 19... 14 first commercial transport of a passenger, paid passenger. Like all most airlines today, all these startup airlines that are here today, gone tomorrow, well this airline only lasted four months. 1914. <coughs> what kind of an environment were you in as a passenger? Well at that time it was an old open air. You paid money to be open air. It was an open cockpit. There was no s cabin with all the creature comforts that you know of today. Later on, as aerpl airplanes developed, you actually sat behind the pilot in an enclosed cabin, so to speak. What kind of a seat were you sitting in? Believe it or not, they were wicker chairs. That's, that was your passenger seat. See this digit? Don't poke it through the side of the airplane. Why? <laughs> because it was, the airplane was made of wood and cloth. That's how sophisticated the air transport was back in the early 1900s. Noisy. No one heard of health and safety. There was no noise suppression. Oh, yes, there was noise suppression. It's when you went deaf from the engine noise and the whistle of the wind going through all the rigging and the wings and everything. Later on, as aircraft developed and it distances increased because of the reliability of aircraft. You had a little bit more sophisticated chairs than wicker chairs. They actually turned into wooden frames with a little bit of cloth. No entertainment systems back then. <sighs> Weight was precious. All the aircraft were underpowered. Some of the pilots had only learned how to fly. They were flying passengers all around the place. You didn't go far. You waited for the weather to be good. You couldn't take off in thunderstorms. You couldn't go in winter time because of the ice. Because No, they just didn't have the sophistication that they have now. And the quality of the passengers, I have to say, back then, if you wanted to fly as a passenger, you'd have to spend about six months to a year's wages to go on a flight from Los Angeles to Boston. It'd take you up to about three days sometimes to get there, back in the early days. With, now that wasn't non-stop, you had about three or four different refueling stops on the way. And every airport had no navigation facility, so the guy, the pilot, usually a one-man band, had a little map, and flew through the weather. If there was a thunderstorm, oh my word. You wanted entertainment? You've got entertainment. <laughs> Rain, hail, 
Oh my God, is it going to puncture the windscreen? Is it going to tear the, the fabric off the wings? That's air transport in those days. And it wasn't unusual in the, in the 30s and 40s, all the piston air, air engine aircraft with propellers, you start off with four engines, it wasn't uncommon to only land with three engines running. So you compare that to today's jet aircraft, where you hardly have any engine failures, and the safety issues increased immensely over the, over, over the years, because back then there was no radar, there was hardly even any radios, there certainly wasn't any navigational aids for people to get around, it was just eyeball, it's good weather, fill up the tanks full of fuel, very unsophisticated, seat of your pants flying, and you compare all that to today, where you can walk around with your mobile phone, go up to the gate, walk under the seat, have a meal. You know what it is today. Air transport then, compared to now, millennia difference.